Welcome in all my family and friends to our weekend retreat. My name is Lazy Retired Granny and it is Saturday the 24th of August 2024. The time is 8.14 a.m. here in, yep, sunny Salem, Oregon. And I think we're supposed to be mid-70s today. So beside me, I have my hot caffeinated breakfast blend coffee with French vanilla creamer. And as always, we're going to turn on the wax lamp and pick out a um, candle wax or just a wax, a wax melt. These are from my diamond daughter. Rebecca, and I see pink. Let's try pink this time. And this says hot apple pie. Which it is apple season, so. And no, I have not made my apple dump cake whatever I need to get the ingredients for that and I haven't done it yet so weekend retreat so I started the dancing girl which is from Sunature it was from a product review I did and there is a picture of her very pretty canvas and this has one two three four five six seven eight nine fairy dust drills and i have to tell you i got this kit kit up last night and I was going to lay down some drills, which I did. And you know what? I looked the key over, um, looked fine to me. <coughs> and I do apologize. I am feeling a little bit under the weather today. I don't know if I'm coming down with a cold or I picked up a bug at the vet's office or at Walmart, but yeah, it's just not uh, feeling it today. <laughs> it may be a slow day today. Um, but anyway, so I I had this area and that I was going to do. And I didn't think that was very big. Now, it is confetti heavy. I will tell you that. Um, but I laid down some drills. I laid down some ones, fives, six, and um, another one. And, but I didn't lay down that many. And I got up this morning and I was looking the key over and it's like, oh no, how did I miss that? And I'm going to show you. One is a zero. Two is the one. You see where I'm going here? Yeah. And I completely miss that so yeah this morning I spent some time picking off drills of what I did last night and then because this is so confetti heavy I thought you know what this is going to be one of those canvases that I do smaller sections on so with that said 
I decided that. I got my drills picked off, started again. And like I said, at least I didn't have a whole lot on there. So that was a good thing. Well, then I noticed something else I'm going to have to be on the lookout for is we have a zero and we have an O. So I'm going to have to be really careful about that. Now, just to make it a little bit more interesting, we have a one and we have an I. So, yeah, the smaller areas are going to be for me. And it's going to take a little bit more concentration. So, with that said, um, I was watching these live this morning and laying down drills here. Yeah, so um, I've got a new plan of action. So usually on, when the numbers are like this, I I will do all the ones, the twos, the threes, blah, blah, blah. Now they also are in alphabetical order and then the symbols. Well, due to my brain not being able to comprehend these numbers, and I will show you here. So I picked off drills for the fives and the ones. So I got to use those up. So those are just set in here. To use because I don't want to mix the drills that I took off the canvas in with the drills I haven't used because they stick once you put them down yeah they will stick to the other and then you got a mess in your drills so with that being said um, yeah so I want to finish um, this little section off and then we'll move up to the next section. So I've got the percentage which I missed the first time around and it looks like there's only one of those so we'll get that out quick. Okay and then I've got a W. Yeah, this morning I was, just because I think, you know, I'm not 100% today, <laughs> it was like, uh, no, I'm chucking this. <laughs> yeah. But I just walked away, I got them off, got a new plan of action, and... Yeah, because I really think this is going to be beautiful. It's just going to take a while. I mean, a long while <laughs> to do this canvas. All right, so that's all the W's. And these are the fairy dust. And we have a lot of fairy dust once again, just like with the, the other canvas that I did. And I did enjoy that other canvas so much and I was so excited about this one. So, but now that I, while well, I was watching uh, V this morning and, um, you know, re-evaluating, she made me feel better. And, you know, being in there with friends and having the gap session and all that, it that hour just goes by so fast with her on Saturday mornings. And I just look forward to it. But, yeah, they got me in a whole different um, mindset. 
So thank you to everybody that was in there this morning. I so enjoyed the chat and gabbing with you guys. And you just really... Okay, now, there's some fours, which is the symbol four. So it's going to be a five. So I can use some of these. And hopefully I have not messed up. All right, oh, I got another W here. 33. Which is a fairy dust. I missed one, of course. Okay, and then M. Yeah, there's 47 colors in this, and I did kit it up in my, uh, or EWK. Which I'm getting used to kitting those up now. 12. I need to move this over a bit so I can reach it. Okay, and then we got a Y. X. Yeah, as soon as I finish this section then I will I've only got a few here so we'll get to our gab session I did the gift card from Yvette from Diamond Art Club I did get the um, all right six hold on six is seven I'm sorry, my brain just doesn't work well with numbers like that. Where did that pop off to? I thought I saw one. Oh, there it is. All right, there we go. All right, so I got that, that square completed. All right, so let's look what it looks like without the light on. It looks so much better without the light on, huh? Let me see if I can dim this down a little bit. There we go. That's better. All right. Here is... This is a little bit bigger section, but I'm feeling a little bit more confident on what in the world I'm doing. So, yeah. I did put a new tip on my, on my pen, so that's good. All right. So, I'm not going to start with the numbers. <laughs> two letters <laughs> all right so that before I start on this oh um on these live this morning I do want to show this we have added to our spill your drills club now we had a special guest that joined the special drills club and she is queen, and that is Stardust. <laughs> yeah, Stardust spilled drills. <laughs> oh, how funny. All right, let's go to our emails. All right, see what we got in here. All right, Terry says... Uh, hello there. I received my order from Dreamer Designs today. Two canvases. Woo! Both overseas purchases. Ordered on 8.5, received on 8.23. I've attached pictures. I have not, however, unboxed them as yet. What? <laughs> 
Looking forward to your whip and gab session today. Hoping all is well with Ellie. Yeah, she's doing better. All right, let's see what she got. Oh, you got that one. That is really nice. I love those pumpkins. I'm not a gnome person, but I do love the uh, pumpkins and that big moon. Hey, you could do that for Tita's monthly theme for September, moon. So this says it is a 40 by 50 centimeters. So that's a good size. Did you get it in the squares or the round? Because you do have a choice on those overseas ones. <gasps> you got London Bridge. Oh my gosh, I got to add you to um, the London Bridge. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Everybody's getting the London Bridge and we can do that together. Yep. You guys make my day. Okay, do I have my pen out yet? I did, but I must put it away. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. You're number eight. Yes. I absolutely love it. And it's by Robert Finale. Yep, like that. 50 by 40. Okay, Terry. Okay, Terry, I got you on the list. I'm so excited. Okay, Connie, resending pictures. Resending the pic I did with a couple close-ups. There were a lot of crystals and ABs in it. Hope they do more like it. Oh, good. Oh, okay, the reason why she did is because I asked if this was um, a canvas that was a partial because I was so impressed with the face and how it looks because usually it seems like the faces don't come out really well. And she wrote back and she said, no, um, this is a full drill. And yes, I mean, come on, look at this. You can, I mean, when you're looking at this, you would think it was just painted. Those drills fit in so well. I have just never, all right, here's a close-up now. All right, when you get close-up, yeah, you can see, but look how they did the blending of the face, the shadows and... All of that. Oh my gosh. I am beyond words on this one. I am so glad that you shared that. Um, I can't remember, you know, how my brain is, um, where she got this canvas. But wow. So... Connie, tell me in the um, comments, uh, once again, where you purchased this from. I am just, wow. Okay, Peggy, Weekend Retreat. This is the picture of the Horn of Plenty from Walmart. <clears throat> I will be starting it tonight. I am also sending a picture of my fall Thanksgiving wreath that I made. I have one for all seasons. Okay, so let's take a look. Come on. Oh. I don't think my Walmart had that one. Wow, you guys are just really amazing me today. Wow. Oh 
my gosh, girl. You made that? Do you sell those? That is amazing. Yeah, people have so much talent. I wish I had half the talent that people have, but I just don't. Wow. All right, Patricia Cottages. Good morning, Granny Pat here. Did you by chance write down my address for my cottage, LOL? I remember the numbers as that's my birthday, 1120. But for the life of me, I can't remember the street name, LOL. Must be a senior moment, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Thanks and blessings, Pat. All right, let me take a gander here. Let me turn back on the light. <laughs> yeah, I have those senior moments all the time. Let's get over here to our cottages. Patricia. Okay, you're 1120 Pug Lane. Okay, and Peggy. Uh, up, uh, weekend retreat update. My update on my Horn of Plenty. So she's... Oops, let's turn off the light. Wow, look at that pop. I love canvases that do that, that just... It's like you start them and you put down those drills and it just changes the whole canvas. Just pops and comes to life. That is really good. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. And usually the uh, diamond dots are, you know, very, very pretty. Okay, January completion. Hi, Granny Doodle Bugaboo and community neighbors. Construction on my second cottage is complete. Wow. I have several ideas in the work, so stay tuned for new additions to my property. I will finish up on my monthly truck series and dessert cup this weekend and then start my love bug, aka punch buggy. <laughs> as we used to call it when growing up on Monday. As usual, I apologize for the glare and shadows, but I don't have the best lighting. Hugs, my friend, January. All right, before I show that, I'm going to go over to Love Bug. Love Bug. Okay, January, and I'm going to put down her name of her Love Bug, which is Punch Buggy. You know, that's a good idea. We can name our love bugs. Mine's probably going to be Ellie Bug. All right, turn that off. And there we go. That is a beautiful picture. The lighting is perfect. You know, this cottage is just, what's not to like about it? I mean, I love the roofing on here, the lights are on, and, it, you know, you're, as you're strolling up here, it looks so inviting. Or you can go over here, maybe in the backyard, and, you know, there might be a table set up with some tea, and we can have tea time. You've got the little ducks that you can go out and feed, or Ellie can chase them around and bark at them. And then you've got this path over here that you can go out into the backyard or the wilderness area. Yeah, what's imagination is endless. And I love this upstairs window. 
that would be my crafting area right there, I think. So I could look out and see all the beauty of outside. And I would pretend there's more windows over on the other side. <laughs> that is just so beautiful. Okay, and then we have from Kim. Hi, Linda. Update. Hope this email finds you well. I just love the way your cottage turned out very pretty. I am still working on mine. Slow process because I recently became a double whipper, LOL. <laughs> on the weekends, I am working on my mountain retreat. That is... I love that canvas. See attached pictures. I also wanted to share my other passion with you. I love to read angel tarot and oracle cards. And because of your encouragement, I started a YouTube channel called Soulful Guidance. Here is a link to my first video. Not the best, but it will improve with time. I hope, fingers crossed, LOL. Please check it out. I hope it works. LOL. If it does, can you please share it with anyone who might be interested? I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, my friend. Take care and talk with you soon. All right, let's look at our pictures first. That is Mountain Retreat, and that's by Diamond Dots. I absolutely love this. I have it. Yep. And it will be added to the cottage village you know you can just imagine yourself out there sitting in that rocking chair having your coffee or tea reading a good book yeah that is so pretty all right she said she sent a second picture so uh didn't you say you said this? why isn't it all right. Let's see. She says see attached pictures. Um, Kim, I only got one picture. All right. So, now, I usually don't do this, but we will try it. So she has a video. I've been a certified angel tarot and oracle card reader for over, well, I'll say about five years now. And recently I became a certified angel numerologist. Now, I've been wanting to start a uh, YouTube channel for a long time, but I was always afraid to give it a try. But now, I'm trying to conquer my fears, and I've taken that first step, and I hope you will join me on this journey. My intention for this channel is to create a happy place to come to receive guidance, advice, positive, uplifting inspiration, or just if you need, you know, a pick-me-up when you need it, this place is here for you to do that. Um, I'm going to do that through messages from the cards and from the heavens above. So if this is something you would be interested in watching, I would so love it if you would be okay so um now obviously i have not watched her channel but she wants it shared so if you're interested in this type of a video or youtube 
channel. Uh, what does she say it's called? Soulful Guidance. And so you should be able to go and okay, hold on a minute. You know, I'm not any good at this. Um, right, let me back up. All right, how do I do this? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Get out of there. All right, so let me type in S O U L. Now, what did she say? F U L. Okay. G U I D A N C E. All right, let me click on that. Three subscribers, so that must be you. All right. So I just typed in those words. If that's you, I'm not for sure. No. I don't think that's you. But. Oh, I don't know what that is. All right, I'm going to have to do the link. Try this one. Nope. Let me keep going. Okay, let's try this one. I'm going to have to put in the link. Oh, you know what? Maybe. All right. I will put in the link because I can't find it. Okay, so, all right, all righty, so, here we go, all right, is that all of our, uh, hopefully, I will try to put in the link, unfortunately, I don't know if I know how to do that from here, you know me and technology, all right. All right, here we go. All right, let's turn back on our lights. And there we go. All right, I'll put back on my readers. And oh, you know what? I think I I might be able to do that. So with that said, I'm gonna do some laying down a drill so what do we got here we got quite a few e's here and of course we have f's right beside it of course we do okay e is 15 and this is a Fairy dust. I'll show you those. Okay. 
Now, in case you don't know, um, fairy dust is glitter that gives a slight shine. They tend to look truer to their base color, which are different than the ABs that have kind of a a rainbow effect over the base color of the drill. And the AB drills, the flashes of color will shift with the lighting. So you may get, you know, different colors with those. All right, so what did I say I was going to do? E. So last night, or early evening, my son came over and he said, my Xbox gave up the ghost. And there's a new Xbox that's coming out, I think he said October, which he's on the list for. And, but of course his Xbox bit the dust today, or yesterday. And his Xbox he's had for a number of years. And when that breaks, it's done. You buy a new one. They are not apparently repairable. Um, so... Oh, I didn't get my wax in good enough. So anyway, um, he said, I'm going to go to Target and go buy a new Xbox. And then I have to make the decision if I want to get the pre-order one in a couple months. Which I know him because he is a big gamer. And so are my grandsons. And so... And when the boys are at their mom's, David can still play Xbox with them because they can talk together. And David said, and they're um, with David for the next, until Labor Day. And, um, you know, it can't be without an Xbox. So he says, I'm going to run to Target and get the current version of the Xbox. <laughs> so anyway, he, um, and this was like about 8 o'clock. And uh, so I said, okay. And the boys were going to stay home because they were in the middle of their games. And uh, so um, I watched the boys, you know, I was right here. I mean, they're... 10 and 14 so don't really have to babysit but you know just keep an eye on them and my wax fell out oh, I'm having troubles this morning so anyway he zipped up to Target and he was back in no time wow he's a fast shopper he says well, I was going in there for one reason and one reason only this wax is giving me fits all right Let's, I'm going to use my Dreamer Designs tip, and I am going to use my Dreamer Wax on it. I'm trying to use up waxes, and that may be too old of a wax, because I just switched waxes but I'm gonna do the dreamer one there we go so we'll see if that works for me because I am using the um, 
fairy dust. I forgot what I was doing again. Bees. Um, so anyway, he, um, I was up late and, uh, I was, that's why I was kind of goofing around with, um, the canvas. I kitted up and was just laying down some drills and did them wrong. But anyway, so yeah, he has a new Xbox. And by the way, Ellie's doing good. She's got her appetite back. And yeah, she's doing good. Why am I having... That's it. I'm gonna take out this old wax. Yeah, I have struggles too. Alright, now I'm gonna try this wax and see... Oops, now my computer. I better get to some comments. Um, all right, Teresa said that um, I buy a frame of some kind before my canvases even get to me. The Flamingo, Flamingo DP is from Diamond Art Club. Oh, that's good to know. Um, Constance, actually, hold on one second. Oh, come on. I tell you, my mouse is not working today. There it is. Okay, I'm back. I thought there was somebody out front, and there wasn't. Um, let's see, where were we? Uh, Constance. Hi, Granny. I'm about halfway done with our lake. It is coming along pretty fast. I ordered some fish <laughs> that will be here when the lake is ready. Should be some good fishing soon. So glad Ellie is doing well. Um, I'm just going through here. January said, oh my gosh, Granny Doodle Bugaboo, I was such a nervous wreck watching the beginning of this video video, um, because you forgot to cover your canvas and you had the whole tray full of drills just waiting to be knocked over. I was jumping in my seat, seat sending waves through the computer and you finally moved your drills. Whew, that was a close one. Hearing you laugh like that with the horse shenanigans has convinced me that I will need to check out horse guards. That was from, it looks like my video yesterday, the weekend retreat. Um, I'll have to go back and look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Horse guards? Yes. I just am fascinated with it. I I truly, yeah, I don't know what it is, but I love those horses and, you know, watching them, getting to know all of them and, uh, but nobody can have Ormond. Ormond's mine. I am hoping I can find a good Ormond. I've got one in mind, but alas. Um, so, yeah.
Ormond is, um, I'm all ready for him <laughs> whenever he makes his appearance. <laughs> and Ellie and him are going to be great friends. And I will share John's link again um, in case you guys missed it. He's also over on, he's got some TikTok videos. However, I don't think he does TikTok videos anymore. But he does have some over there from his past experience on that. And then he's also on Instagram. Now, on his Instagram, he posts pictures of the horses with their names. So if you want a horse guard horse, you can go over to his Instagram which I'll also attach and pick you out a horse. <laughs> Trojan's already taken, even though she didn't know that was <laughs> a horse guard horse. <laughs> uh, yeah, and if you want to get to know the horses and, you know, pick one out, watch his videos, because there's some that. Yeah, I, I want some more horses because, uh, well, I guess we can each have an Ormond. I mean, who wouldn't want an Ormond? He is just a character. But there's some others on there that are characters too. And also, there was some horse guards that... When was that? It was a few months ago. They were practicing and there was something and the, <laughs> they escaped. They said, no, we don't want to do this. They bucked off their riders and off they trotted through the streets of London. <laughs> now, that is funny. Now, what is not funny is that one of the horses collided with a bus <coughs> and <coughs> oh, excuse me and is um, all bloodied and yeah I was in the hospital for quite a long time but these horses one decided hey no I'm not doing this today and then told their horsey friends, hey, let's, you know, let's get out of here. And so they all escaped. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They were all captured. Nobody was, well, I guess there was maybe a, I, I don't know. I can't remember the full story now, but um, I just saw a drill that, there it is, I think. Um. Yeah, it's all over YouTube, so. Yeah, but anyway, all the horses, I think but one, are back on duty. These horses are hilarious. I kid you not. And John makes it even more funnier to watch. And gives insights and, and whatnot. I just... I don't know. I'm just, and for all you need, new people, I am just jealous because you get to go back and look at all these videos that I've already watched, and there's a lot of them, and learn about horse guards. It's, uh, but anyway, I digress here. Um, okay, Patricia says, um, is this coming Monday you're starting the love bug? Yes. That's when I'm starting it. You guys can start <coughs> whenever you want to. I'm sorry, now I got that tickle back in my throat. All right. Um... And then Pat says, um, I'm glad Ellie is okay. We are always concerned about our fabulous fur babies. Have a great weekend retreat. Blessings, Pat. 
Yeah, and thank you for everybody who mentioned Ellie. Um, Valerie said, uh, this is on the, my weekend retreat yesterday. Um, it's 74 degrees in Flagstaff, Arizona, and last night it rained like crazy. It's only a little breezy. Very nice day up here. We had a little bit of rain yesterday, but yeah, nothing to write home about. All right, Anne Marie. Hi, hope everything went well with Ellie. I do not like the dentist. I don't either. Um, had my last wisdom tooth pulled yesterday while Ellie was at her appointment. I guess that leaves me with no more wisdom. <laughs> Oh, they got to replace it with something. <laughs> I put my name in this chat because I noticed I was on the list for the She Shed as Tango. Not sure how that name even happened, but I do not understand YouTube. I am working on a very large canvas for my grandson that would love to be part of your community. So happy to hear that cottages will be ongoing. I will be house hunting very shortly. Okay, let me get my book out. Let's take a gander at that. Move the drills, January. Close that up. All right. So let's go over here. And she says, that's on the she shed. There you are, Tango. So let's get your name down, Anne-Marie. All right, there we got that done. Um, <laughs> I like that, no more wisdom. Um, Okay, yeah, and when you, the, the weekend retreat is ongoing, and that's just, um, we work on, no matter when your weekend is, uh, for me, it's three days of working on a different canvas than uh, what I work on Monday through Thursday. Then I switch on Friday, and Friday to Sunday, I work on something else. So when we're doing our, our next big one is, well, we'll be doing the love bug. My love bug is really small, so I should be able to complete that within a couple days. But our next big one is space for reflection. So for me, I will work on space for reflection, or lay down drills on space for reflection, Monday through Thursday, then, on Friday, I go to a weekend retreat, which I'll be doing the Dancing Girl. Um, I've also got to pick out a canvas for Diamonds by Tita, her theme over on her Facebook page, which is Moon for um, September. So I may be doing some triple whipping uh, because obviously dancing girl is going to take me a while. So I might work on uh, or lay down drills on the moon one. And then we, um, Anita is still laying down drills on the palace and Alice is still um, on Hope Runs Deep or a pension. So those are still ongoing. We haven't mark those off yet and then our cottage community village is ongoing um, we can do as many cottages animals to add um, let's you know we're building up our village so um, and I do need to write down let me get another piece of paper because we have some ideas and I should have done this to 
add to our village and then you can tell me what you're adding. So we do have horses and I know that we have um, a horse in the making. I need to write those down. Um, and then, you know, some other ideas are a park, a dog park, um, stores. Uh, oh, V is doing new doors. Let me write that down. Yeah, she's making doors for everybody. So, doors. V's doing those for us. So we can pick out a door if we want. Um, use your imagination on this village. I mean, it is. The possibilities are just endless. Restaurants. So it would be a canvas, you know, with a restaurant, a park, maybe a swimming pool, a spa. Um, yeah. So my space for reflection is actually going to be part of the cottage village. And uh, it's just a place where people can go for a weekend retreat or have guests in there. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah possibilities are just endless. All right, let's see what else, because I'm getting up to about an hour here already. Um, uh, um, why can't I remember these names? Yep, I got all kinds of notes here. Laura, says she purchased the governor's party which I unboxed <clears throat> it reminded her um, of childhood memories I'm looking forward to working on it I think you need to make a new list in your pink notebook thanks for sharing you know you're right and that will um, become on the list I hate to add too many of these big ones and overwhelm people. Um, however, because we do have quite a few on here. We have our monthlies. I forgot to say that. We got London Bridge, She Shed. All right, I am just going to... I don't know what I do with my pen. Um, I'm doing, oh, I did that one. Um, I'm doing Dancing Girl right now. Okay, so let's add the Governor's Party. We'll just add them right here. That These are potential ones. So if anybody wants to be added to the list, I can start a new page. How about that? Okay, um, uh, Margie said, awesome finish. Don't forget, this is your second cottage in the community, so you can choose which one you want to live in. Maybe the one closest to the horse stables. <laughs> you are correct, if not in the horse stables. Um... Diamonds and Doberman says, love it so much. Will you be doing it for a check along? And that is on the governor's party. No, I will not. It's just, yeah, it's just whoever wants to join along. Now, when we do our Chuck Penson canvases, if people elect to do it, in a chuck along or somebody else's event, you know, that's fine, you know, but no. Um, Margie said, Did you sneak in a DAC order without telling us? LOL. 
Um, actually, um, that's on my governor's party. I'm trying to think. I think that was a whim buy from, where did I get that? Was that Amazon? There was a sale going on. Uh, Diamonds and Doberman says, very pretty. Our taste in paintings is so similar. I love landscapes and houses and cottages too. Oh, then you're at the right place. Yep, because that's mostly what I do. Every once in a while, go off the rails. Dancing girl. Yeah. And this one, um, like I said, is just a um, senator sent it to me as a product review and, <coughs> and um yeah i didn't pick it out they picked it out so um the other one they also picked out for me and um so yeah i just kind of depend on you know send me whatever Those are kind of nice to do because then I get outside the box of what I usually do. So, you know, and that's fine. And I'm, you know, now that, like I said, I was on these live this morning and now talking to you guys. I'm feeling better about the canvas. So, um, yeah, we'll just uh, march on. So with that, I'm going to let you go because I have been on here over an hour now. So, I think I jibber-jabbered enough. So, with that, I appreciate everybody stopping by and visiting and laying down drills with me. All that good stuff. And just thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support, your kind words, and just everything that you do. I am so enjoying this community. So, with that, I will... Jibber jabber with you later. And what else do I say? <laughs> but yeah, just thanks for stopping by. All right. See ya.